We're now going to use trigonometry to find the area of a triangle. So let's start with a triangle. We've labelled it. And here's our formula. The area of a triangle is a half AB sine C. OK, so let's take a look at an example of how we use it. Here's our problem. We have a triangle. We have two sides and the included angle is 73 degrees. That's the situation you have when you can use this formula for the area of the triangle. So our formula is the area is a half AB sine C. Let's label the diagram so that it reflects the way we want to use it in the formula. So there we have it. C is the, the angle and the A and B are the other two sides. Doesn't matter which one's which they're pretty well interchangeable. It's the C that's important. It has to be long between the A and the B. So we substitute in. So in this case, the area is a half times 15 times 7 times sine 73 degrees. Put it in our calculator, and we find in this case it's 46.78 millimetres squared. Ready to move on? This is your turn. Here's your problem. You can think of this as part of a paddock, or it is a paddock. Two 15 metres down one fence line, 338 metres down the next fence line, and 23 degrees in between. Quite often with these problems, you'll end up having them as a worded problem, and you have to di draw the diagram to reflect the situation. So, now pause the video, copy and label the diagram, and have a go. When you've finished, restart the video, and check your answer against the one that I've provided. So, your turn. Welcome back. Here's the diagram I gave you. So let's go through this process step by step. First of all, here's our area, a half AB sine C. We label the diagram to reflect the formula. Substitute in our measurements. Use the calculator and come up with the answer. So in this particular paddock, paddock there's a, it's about 34,747 square metres. Done.